all the philosophers, no doubt Aristotle was the most influential. He lived between 384 and 322 BC, but his influence lasted until the scientific revolution in the 16th century. And in some cases, his logic, for example, some aspects are still useful today. So, unlike Democritus, Aristotle envisaged a universe full of purpose. So, instead of atoms that move following uh, natural laws in a deterministic way, for Aristotle, the universe had purpose. I will return to that in a minute. He developed this geocentric system of the universe, in which Earth is in the center and all the other celestial bodies go around Earth. And they went around, they go around Earth because they are located in transparent spheres, and those spheres are uh, surround Earth and, and move in a circular trajectory. Now, the first sphere is the one in which the Moon is located, the second sphere is uh, Mercury, then Venus, then Sun, then Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, and then the stars. So, in the sublunar, so be below the Moon area, um, Earth is located and there are elements. Um, so, there are four elements. First element is Earth, uh, which is the heaviest, and then water, it's on top of Earth, then air on top of water, and fire on top of air. And that's the, uh, in, in, um, on Earth, these are the things that we see. And beyond Earth, we've got the celestial bodies that behave in a more perfect uh, way, um, um, in a mathematical way. Um, although Aristotle didn't develop the mathematics of the universe, that was uh, uh, Pythagoras and Plato and others. Now, on Earth, there was there is purpose, um, and uh, Aristotle developed a theory of causes, in which we have four types of causes: the material cause, the formal cause, the efficient cause, and the final cause. So the material cause, something something exists because it has matter. Um, so in a sense, this in this uh, uh, part, it uh, also uh, coincides with Democritus. But the most important aspect of cause for um, um, Aristotle was form. So the essence of things is because of what, what form they have. And the form of things are the structure that makes something to behave in a specific manner. Um, so it is the essence of things. I will come back to this in a minute. Then the efficient cause, that's again um, the, um, what, the, the, the type of cause that was taken by modern science, which is if an object collides into another object, it produces an effect, and that's the efficient cause. And the final cause, another very important for Aristotle, is that things um, have an end, a goal, to achieve something. So, for example, uh, returning to earth, water, air, and fire. So, things that are, uh, that have a, an earth essence tend to go to earth. Um, so, stone would go to earth. Uh, things that have a water essence tend to stay in water. And uh, gases that have an airy essence uh, goes up and and fire heat is has the fire essence and it goes even higher than 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 gases so things tend to go to where they belong um, so it's not like democritus that thinks everything follows the same natural laws 
That's why uh, Aristotle's universe is full of purpose. In terms of the geocentric system, that influenced the work of Ptolemy, who lived between 100 and 170. And that uh, geocentric system contained the same elements as uh, Aristotle's system, with the addition of the uh, epicycles. And the epicycles, um, so basically, on top of the spheres in Aristotle's um, system, the celestial bodies also belong to a smaller sphere, um, which provided, uh, in, by which uh, these celestial bodies rotated around. So they had two types of rotation, one around Earth and the other uh, a rotation around a, an axis in which they belong. So why um, Ptolemy added these, and this is going to be a very important uh, aspect of what I want to explain in these lectures, is because the Aristotle model didn't explain the observed data. So he needed to add this mathematical, and, and, this, and this is a discussion, is this and I, uh, something that Ptolemy uh, proposes that the, the universe works like this, or is just a mathematical um, addition to the model in order to predict the data? What's the data? The data is the observation of the position of the planets. And one of the things that, that had to predict is that Mars didn't look like from Earth to be moving um, in a circular trajectory, because sometimes it looks like it goes backwards. And of course, that with the, with, with the uh, helio heliocentric system, that, that ex is explained very well. But within the geocentric system, how come Mars is going backwards sometimes? Well, so that's why um, uh, Ptolemy added this, uh, this epicycle idea. And actually, even today, reading Ptolemy's book, uh, you can predict with some, some degree of certainty the position of some of the planets.